Hey there, welcome to this next video series on beginner needle felting. Um, today we are working on this great little project for spring. It's a nest and um, so I put out some kits in the winter for the same kind of theme and um, so I just want to say I'm going to be adding more egg material to your kits and uh, as you can see I love eggs <laughs> and uh, um, I was just gonna kind of wear this as a joke but I'm actually gonna keep it on for the whole um, video tutorial because it's so comfortable and warm and fun um, so yes so in your kits you'll have um, you'll have a needle and your wool and some feathers to line your nest with later on and also a little LED tea light that makes the whole thing glow at night which is really fun um, so let's get started okay I think we're ready to get started here um, so one thing I didn't mention um, people have been asking me how does felting actually work and I keep forgetting to explain that that part of it so if you're completely new to felting that's fine um, we're gonna learn a lot today just in this video alone and you can go back uh, too. I have a couple of other tutorials. I have one on um, hearts and one on unicorns. Um, <laughs> and um, but what I failed to mention was that yeah, these the the needle and the wool is really what felting is. Um, so you need a foam surface like this uh, that I'm working on here. Um, and I do include um, a sponge in your kit, but you might want something a little bit wider uh, to work on some of these. Uh, slightly bigger projects um, and also the needle itself has um, there's little tiny barbs on the pointed end and that's the end that you stab with and those little barbs are what crimp the wool um, tighter and tighter so that's how we can make these sculptures um, with wool and it's so exciting because every time I try something new I I learn something new so okay so now we're going to get started. <laughs> um, so what we're going to start with is the nest part of this. And so I'm just going to move this nest over here, maybe right here. So it's kind of still in view, sort of blends in with my bed. Um, and we're going to take our core wool out of the pack. So this, this uh, brown colored wool. And then here we have our merino. This is, you know, you'll get most of these colors in your kit. Um, and so this is for making the leaves and the sticks and the twigs for our nest. So we're going to put those aside for now. And the other thing um, that's in our nest kit is the horse hair. Now this is really hard to see, but I've put some horse tail in your kit and we're going to kind of wind that around or, you know, you can do what you like with it in your nest um, but I just think it's really cute and that inspiration came actually from finding a nest um, a couple of years ago that was I'm pretty sure it was a hummingbird nest that was made completely of horse hair and it was the cutest thing ever so I love horse hair um, I've learned through other felters um, that horse hair makes amazing whiskers for kitty cats and bunnies and it's just like the perfect rigidity for yeah for for making very realistic looking whiskers it's my secret which is no secret okay so we're gonna what I'm doing with this wool is I'm making these kind of long pieces I'm gonna keep doing that as I talk to you and keep pulling them apart and so this is how I'm gonna put my nest together there's other ways this is just one way and as long as you keep you know stabbing with your needle into your wool you're gonna get something okay so I've made these these longer pieces and I'm gonna put them over here to the side and I'm gonna just start <laughs> with this one. So this is going to be the the bottom of my nest. Okay, so I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to kind of coil up 
the wool piece into a round shape and I'm going to start stabbing it down and kind of joining the spiral together into one piece. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just poking the wool, poke, 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 poke. And now I'm going to pull my project up off, flip it over, and felt the other side a little bit. Not too much. We don't have to make it flat. We don't have to make it smooth. We're just going for the rough, rough look for our nest. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna, so that that's the bottom. So that's gonna be, you know, and then our, our nest is gonna come out like a cup. So we'll just put that to the side. And now I'm gonna take my long piece and I'm gonna make sure it fits around my nest around the width and what I want is for my nest to get a little bit wider at the top so that's the goal so I'm, I might even stretch this one out just to make it a little bit longer yeah like that and now I'm gonna just felt down the length of it a couple times yeah lift it off and now I'm gonna add it on to the first bottom layer of my nest. And I'm just going to felt around the outside, kind of keep the, the height of the wall, the side wall of this nest, if I can. And I'll just keep turning it and felting around the outside. And so you might have a lower part there where you joined it together. That's okay. And if you feel like it's coming in too much, you can just splay it out a little bit with your hands and felt it you know wherever you point your needle is the direction your wool's going to go in <laughs> I learned that from mountain biking anyways wherever your eyes go wherever your needle goes is where your wool's going to go so so you can see how now I've got kind of a little kind of a cup shape it's a little flat on the sides but I'm going to make it a little bit more curved later and so if I hold it up and I look through and I can kind of see where you know there's some thinner areas so I'm just keeping my eye out to make sure that I don't get too many big holes in the bottom of my nest but yeah it's coming together so now I'm I'm just poking on the bottom of it I'm being careful not to poke my, my hand, and, you know, I try not to put my hand underneath my project too much because it does result in getting poked with your needle, which hurts. Okay, so there we go. There's our first little layer. So now, very much like, okay, so if you did watch the unicorn project that I made, um, it's kind of similar how we're kind of building from a base and we're staggering where the the join is in the each layer so that it, it doesn't get like lower on one side. Not super technical, but I just it's just a little tip. So now I'm gonna stretch this one out a bit longer because I know I my my nest is getting a bit wider. I'm gonna felt along the length of this one. Couple, couple times. Yeah, so this is just the cutest little project for spring. And it's something you can make with your kids. It's something you can decorate your home with. Okay, so now, now making my second layer and I'm going just from the top just to tack it on really and then I'm gonna go maybe flip it over and go around the sides to make sure that it's all attached okay so now we're getting our fluffy nest is coming together. And so you might notice that 
you know, you don't have a ton of wool in your, in your kits, but there's definitely enough to make probably two projects. So you don't even have to make yours as big as this one. Yours, you know, your nest might be a bit small because you might want to make two, um, two nests. You might want to keep one for yourself and give one away. But that will, that would require you to make your project just, yeah, a little bit smaller sized than the one that I'm making right now. So another way that you can felt the walls of your nest together is by like tipping the nest, putting your hand in there and just holding it down and then going down your walls like that inside watching your fingers and this just starts to feel more and more like a real nest like kind of that kind of that light fragile feeling of a nest so we're going to be very gentle with it and we'll just keep felting around like that until eventually we have a nest shape. There we go. That's looking good. And so now I'm going to maybe take a little bit of this wool and maybe, you know, because I've got kind of a low spot on this side, I might fill that in a little bit. But maybe that's where Mama Bird looks over the edge. We're not sure. So I'm just holding the, the kind of the top rim of my nest now and I'm just felting it around the edge and I'm holding it carefully felting between my thumb and forefinger so that I don't poke my hands and I'll just keep turning it like that Very nice. Okay. Going around a little bit around the outside a little bit more. I might just decide to, just to make sure it's really going to hold together. Because I think I might just take a little bit of this felt, felt wool here and just make a really thin layer like that to just lay over the bottom. And I'll just keep spreading it really thin and then felt that on just really lightly because we don't want to squish down our our cup our cup shape of our nest. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to go around the top a little bit more. 